Hi, I'm Bricha from Jaspe. In this video, we will understand the integration architecture that has to be followed for your app integration. This will help you get started with your app integration with Jaspe payment page. On the screen, you can see a flowchart that shows the communication that happens between merchant application, that is a front end, merchant server, that is a back end, Jaspe SDK, and Jaspe server. The whole architecture explains four calls. Two are front-end calls, two are back-end calls. We will understand the whole architecture in stages by understanding how user comes to the merchant application and does the payment. Stage one is when user opens the merchant application. On the home screen, you need to do initiate SDK call that will boot up the JustPay SDK and get prepared for the future calls. Make sure that you do initiate SDK call on the home screen of your application so that there is no latency while opening the JustPay payment page. Stage 2 is when user is ready to make a payment. On the checkout page, the merchant application has to forward order details to the merchant server. Order details like order ID, amount and customer details has to be forwarded from application to the merchant server. Using these details, merchant server needs to do a session API call that will create an order at just pay end. Session API will also respond with the SDK payload. Merchant server needs to pass this SDK payload to the merchant application. Using this SDK payload, merchant application has to do a process SDK call. Process SDK call will open the JustPay payment page to the user. User can now attempt a transaction. After the payment is completed, the SDK forwards the transaction response to the merchant application as the process result. Once the merchant application gets the process result, merchant server needs to check the order status by calling the JustPay order status API. JustPay will return the order status as the response of order status API. Merchant server can forward the order status to the merchant application and that order status can be used to show the order status to the user. The other way to know the status of the order is via webhooks. Webhooks are push-based notification that JustPay servers will do to merchant servers. To know more in detail about all the API calls and all the SDK calls, you can refer to the integration document that has been attached in the description of this video. To know more about initialize SDK call, you can navigate to base integration. Inside that, you will find front end and the first and the second step will be initialize SDK. You can also find the initiate payload towards the right side of the documentation. To know more about the process API call, you can refer to the open payment page section. On the right side, you can also find the process payload. In the backend section of base integration, you will find session API and order status API in detail. To know in detail what are the different transaction status that JustPay can respond in the order status API or webhooks, 
you can refer to the transaction status section under the resources here you can list see the list of different order statuses just be provides to know more in detail about other features like subscription module you can refer to the to the corresponding sections in the base integration now we will understand all the four calls that has to be done by taking an example of a demo application on the screen you can see home page of a demo application here you have to do the initiate sdk call when the user reaches the checkout page and is about to click on checkout you need to call the session api and pass the response of the session api to the process sdk call if the session api and process call are done correctly user will see the just pay payment page and can also attempt a transaction once the transaction is completed just pay sdk will return the response of process sdk call and merchant servers have to pull order status api to know the status of the order based on that status you can show your users the successful screen the failure screen or the pending screen i hope this video will help you out by in the starting of the integration thanks for watching the video